The cab is in pretty good shape, uh, generally, pretty rough as far as the uh, actual uh, surface is concerned. But the only rotted place is right here, and this is a fascia board that's about an inch thick and maybe seven, six or seven inches wide. You can see this is a hollow post, so we'll just have to replace this. But otherwise, the rest of it's pretty good. Don't you, you don't want to have the light up on there? <laughs> well, see, what happens is because I have the backlight, oh, it, okay. it kind of washes it out if I, you know, but... And here's the uh, handrail. Can you reach that with your third hand? <laughs> That's, that'll pull it out and then let it swing down. Uh, and we have all the handrails. They haven't disappeared. All right, now coming down here, hopefully you've got enough. This is the number two end. This is the number... This is the air compressor, not the original one that the car was built with, but one that was later on. The original one was underneath the car. Notice the GE logo on that. It's an air compressor. It says uh, General Electric Company. It's called a CP30, which means it put out 30 cubic feet per, per minute. Quite a, uh, quite a good size one. And we ran it the other day. We know it works. Uh, we didn't run it under any load, and I, as I recall, it had kind of a wrap in it, but you can't tell when it was just running loose. But inside, it looks pretty good. This is, you're looking at the commutator, which is this part here. This I can't turn it by hand, but it does turn around. These are brush holders. There's a carbon brush here and a carbon brush here, and electricity going into the armature, which is the part inside that turns around. On the outside, you have four field coils of which you can see two right there. Looking inside you can see the head of the compressor. There's the air pipe that comes out and feeds down to the reservoirs underneath. The air strainer down near the floor right there. We may be able to see this from mm -hmm. above also. This is uh, the 1940s color. I think it's 40s. Uh, and uh, the green is our own paint that we put on later on that ran inside. This is sort of a ventilator uh, cover like that. What we're looking at here is a slack adjuster, not totally different from what you would have on an automobile uh, brake system. There's a lever that was overstressed and actually broke and this uh, this has gotten bent but we can heat that all up and clean it all up and, and then it can be used to adjust the brakes. You have a lever on one end, you have a lever on the other end and then eventually the brake shoes are connected to this. Brace, this is the one from the number one end which is the same as what's down there and uh, we don't have the second one of these uh, but it's something that can be fabricated. This was originally done uh, forged and beaten and bent, and I can see how it was broken uh, at one point. But we'll, we'll be able to save, save this one. 